we are studying how the cells that build immune system develop. Immune system consists of several types of white blood cells, myeloid cells, monocytes and granulocytes, and lymphoid cells, B cells, T cells, and NK cells. And collectively, all these cells recognize and prevent uh, attack of pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, or development of tumor cells. Our group is interested in development of lymphoid cells. All the cells of immune system are developed from blood-producing stem cells, so-called hematopoietic stem cells. And the process of generate mature blood cells are very complicated. It occurs from multiple steps and uh, generated progeny gets restricted in the uh, lineage potential finally to generate cells that are only able to produce one blood cell type. And for example, stem cells can produce all blood lineages, whereas the NK progenitor can only generate NK cells. And we are interested to establish a map from stem cell to mature NK cells and establish the restriction points and relationship between NK cells and other lymphoid cells. And the other aspect is how these processes are regulated. And we are studying several uh, regulatory pathways. Stem cells and progenitor cells reside uh, in bone marrow, in uh, both adult mouse and uh, human, and they are very infrequent. So one of the big challenges is to purify the cells uh, and therefore in our work we, we have to work with low cell number and we also uh, have to face impurities. Uh, however, the other uh, important concern is whether the tests we are using to investigate the cell function are truly reflecting the function of, of uh, the cells. Uh, there are new methods to generate blood cells from progenitor cells in a culture dish. However, the true test for stem and progenitor cell is to perform transplantation the same way is it done in the clinic and to follow the blood cell generation from the donor cells. And this, for obvious reason, can be done using a uh, mouse system. Uh, however, the recently the major progress uh, have, be, have been done by developing an assay that allows to study human progenitors in a mouse that has a defect in immune system. And therefore, in this assay, the development of human cells can be followed in the mouse. My uh, previous work identified one of the signaling pathways, signaling through FLT3 receptor as critical pathway in development of lymphoid progenitors and uh, in regeneration of B cells after transplantation in adult mouse. So we are currently investigating the role of this receptor signaling pathway during fetal development and also in more details at what steps during lymphoid development, uh, FLT3 receptor plays critical role. The short-term goals is to uh, establish uh, the uh, map of uh, NK cell development from stem cells to mature NK cells and their developmental relationship to other lymphoid cells. Uh, the next or, or the other more uh, further studies would uh, address the role of different uh, known regulatory pathways and new regulatory pathways that affect uh, development of lymphoid cells. And we are performing the analysis of uh, gene expression pattern in purified lymphoid progenitors to identify their new regulatory pathways. And uh, we also aim to 
uh, understand uh, what is the role of tyrosine kinase receptor in adult uh, development, blood development, as well as in fetal development and uh, in leukemia. I like what I'm doing and the work is an important part of uh, my life. I have been always interested uh, in basic research, working with experimental models. Uh, but of course the additional and important uh, driving uh, force is the fact that the key questions that we are asking in uh, our research have high clinical relevance. The immunodeficiencies due to reduced number of lymphoid cells or impaired function of lymphoid cells lead to severe infections and tyrosine kinase uh, receptors, uh, mutations in these receptors are the most frequent uh, mutations found in leukemia. So I believe that by answering questions, how immune system develop, uh, how this process is regulated and what's the role of tyrosine kinase receptor will provide the answers and improve our knowledge that will be applicable to develop new therapies for patients. Mm -hmm.